All right, this lead code question is called intersection of two linked lists. It says write a program to find the node at which the intersection of two singly linked lists begins. For example, the following two linked lists. So here we have one and here we have another. They begin to intersect at node C1. Then they give us another example. This is one linked list. This is another one. And it's pretty clear that they intersect at this node. Another example, first linked list, second one, they intersect right here. We don't have to read all this now, but you can read it on your own later. Here's an edge case. We have one linked list and a second one, and they don't intersect anywhere. And then it says, if the two linked lists have no intersections at all, like we just saw, return null. And the linked lists must retain their original structure after the function returns. You may assume there are no cycles anywhere in the entire linked structure, and your code should preferably run an O of n time, which ours will, and use only O of one memory, which applies to our solution also. All right, so if the length of these two linked lists were the same, this would be pretty easy, right? All we'd have to do is start them off at the same place. This will be P1, and this will be P2, and you would just compare if they're the same node. Are they the same node at this point? No, they're not. So you just move each of them up one. Are they the same node at this point? Yes, they are. So they do intersect. But the problem comes in when the linked lists are different lengths. So let's say instead of this first linked list being AXY, it's C d a x y now what we're going to see is that when you start them off at the same place they're going to end at different times so if you look at p2 p2 is two nodes ahead of p1 so it's going to get to the end of the linked list in only two steps but p1 is going to take one two three four steps to get to the end so how can we make them point to the same nodes at the same time? The way we're going to do this is when P2 finishes its linked list, it will now start over at the beginning of the first linked list and vice versa. When P1 finishes the end of its linked list, it will then reset to the beginning of the second linked list. I'll show you what I mean. So, does P1 equal P2? No, because C doesn't equal B. So we advance them each by one. All right, are they equal now? No, so we'll advance them both by one again. Are they the same? No. Notice where P2 was and where it's going to be. This whole time, P2 has been traversing the second linked list, but at this step, since it's gotten to the end of its linked list, we're going to put it at the beginning of the first linked list. All right, so we move this up. Are they the same now? No. Move them up again. Are they the same now? No. So pay attention to P1 now because it's about to get to the end of its linked list. Remember when it gets to the end of its linked list, it has to be reset to the head of the other linked list. So P1, even though it's been traversing the first linked list this whole time, now we'll put it to the head of the second linked list and we'll advance P2. All right, now let's take a step back. Where are we? P2 and P1 are successfully on the same node, almost like what we had before when it was just like this. So now all we have to do is keep advancing them forward and see if they end up on the same node. We advance P2 by one and we advance P1 by one. And look at that, they did intersect. So using this technique, we're able to negate the fact that the linked lists are two different lengths and get them to be comparing the same node at the same time. All right, let's get to the code. 
What lead code has given us is a function called get intersection node, which accepts head A and head B. Head A is the first linked list and head B is the second linked list. So the first thing we can do is if either of these linked lists is null, then obviously there is no intersection point. So we can just return null at that point. So if head A is null or head B is null, we'll just return null. And remember we need pointers pointing to each linked list. So we'll say let pointer one equals head A and let pointer two equal head B. Okay, now we need a while loop that's gonna loop over every node in each linked list. So we'll say while pointer one doesn't equal pointer two, This is where our logic would go, but let's say they are equal, we can just return either pointer. They're on the same node, so either pointer would work. All right, so let's just jump back into the while loop. All right, so at this point, pointer one is here and pointer two is here. All right, so we know they're not equal, so we can just advance them. So we'll say pointer one equals pointer one dot next and pointer two equals pointer two dot next that would look like this pointer two will now be on x and pointer one will now be on d all right so it would go to the next loop are they the same no so we'd advance again And it would go to the next while loop and it would advance again. But notice where the second pointer is. It's actually pointing at null. So now we have to cover this case in our while loop. We'll say if pointer one is null, We'll just need to reassign it to the head of the other node. So pointer one equals head of B. And similarly, if pointer two is null, we'll just need to reassign it to the head of A. All right, so now when that while loop starts, P2 will be reassigned to the head of the first linked list and then we'll advance P1 as usual. Are they the same? No. So we'll advance them again. But now notice that P1 is on null, so we'll reassign it to the second linked list and advance P2. Now if we notice, they're at the same point in their respective linked lists. So now when you advance them, we'll be doing a fair comparison. So are they on the same node? Yes, they are. So we'll add an if statement for that one. If pointer one is the same as pointer two, what do we need to do? We'll just return pointer one Again, we can return either one because they're pointing to the same node, but we'll just return pointer one. All right, so let's run the code. All right, before I hit submit, I just wanna quickly go over how this code works when there is no intersection. So I'll just quickly do that. Let's say this is P1, this is P2. It checks if they're the same. No, they're not. Are they the same now? No, they're not. P2 is at null. So now this gets reset to here. This gets put to the next node, which is null. 
Because of that, it gets reset to the head of the second link list, and this gets moved up. Okay, so now they're at the same point in the nodes. So we'll advance this, advance this. Are they the same? No. Advance this, and advance this. Now notice that they're both pointing to null. If we look at line 26, it says if pointer one and pointer two are both the same, we return pointer one. Well, pointer one is pointing to null. So that would be our answer. Looks good and we'll submit. All right, our solution was faster than about 77% of other JavaScript submissions. As usual, the code and written explanation are linked down below. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.